Well, uh, Professor Mitchell McLaughlin made his inaugural speech here at Queen's University and it's been my uh, pleasure and my honour to be here to hear him set out a perspective on the past, the origins of conflict and of war, the resolution of war, and then a discussion around how we, we finally address the underlying tensions, contradictions, points of, of conflict that still endure uh, in Irish society, but particularly in the North. And I think Mitchell has set down some markers for us, some challenges for us. Uh, and in the years that I know Mitchell, he's always been a very profound thinker, a very generous thinker as well, a very ambitious thinker. And you heard all of the elements that, of that here this evening. So. I am very, very glad that he now holds a, a seat, an honorary seat at this august institution. And I look forward to Mitchell participating in the public debate and challenging us, challenging Republicans, challenging nationalists, North and South, and unionism too, because that's where we're at. There's, there's a big national conversation to be, to be had. And I know that Mitchell McLaughlin will continue to be a very powerful uh, and a very, very generous uh, and transformative voice in that conversation. I've known Mitchell McLaughlin now for well over 30 years. Throughout my political life, Mitchell McLaughlin has been an inspiration to myself, something of a mentor, and he's also been a legend and hero among many of mine. He made a very profound contribution here tonight. The conferring of this professorship is very richly deserved, but it's also reflective of the hugely significant contribution that Mitchell McLaughlin as a political activist made to the development of our peace process, to the growth and the development of Sinn Féin as a political force on the island, and in relation to Republican strategy for the achievement of an agreed United Ireland. Well, it was a pleasure to be here in Queen's this evening as we listened to Mitchell McLaughlin's inaugural uh, lecture. It was absolutely excellent. Mitchell, as always, sets the right tone, a man of great reason and wisdom. He set out the need for us to continue to dialogue. He set out the need for us to plan the future together because none of us own it individually. We all own it collectively. So I think that uh, some of the things that which uh, Mitchell has said tonight have been very thought-provoking. Not least, I suppose, the fact that he said very clearly that partition has run out of road, that uh, the conflict in Ireland needs to end, and the only way we can do that is if we dialogue with each other, if we continue to plan for the future. So I think that uh, well done, Mitchell, for what he's done here tonight, and I wish him well in his professorship in the future. Well, I thought it was uh, a very important opportunity, and I put a lot of thought and effort into uh, my remarks. Um, I did enjoy the, uh, the question and answer session afterwards, which indicated that people uh, had paid attention to uh, what I was saying and were prepared to explore it and examine it. So, good opportunity. I'm looking forward to the, uh, the master classes where I'll be engaging with the politics year. Uh, and these are the politicians of the future. And I think uh, for me, that's the motivation in taking up this appointment. Sinn Féin. Go on in this carta August Ian Tosnaharan, Equality, Rights and Irish Unity.